Dato. Hi. Hi. Dato, can you say hi to our audience in different languages? You know. Okay. Ni hao pu hao. Pu ho bo. Ho. Ah, ho bo. Ho. Ah. Now, where are we going? I'm going to Star Cafe. You come here often? Very often. I like this place. Very nice, quiet, peaceful. You usually come alone or company? Depends, ah, depends. Can you show us your signature move? Signature move, ah, <laughs> like that, ah. <laughs> uh, do you have a catchphrase? Phrase, ah, my only phrase now. I'm famous is terima kasih. Yeah. Uh, how about your motto? Motto, no motto, lah. My my job is motto. My job is my motto. Woo wee! <laughs> Ever thought about changing your hairstyle? Many times. Uh, but then because of my job, I cannot. Unless it drops off by itself, then <laughs> I cannot do anything about it. Do you bump into your friends often? Very, very often. How they call you? They call me either, Terima kasih! How are you? Uh, because they, they know the trademark, they, they see the hair, they know. How about your family and friends call you? Tiagu, short for Tiaga Rajan. Uh, any words for your friends? I hope they still buy, listen to my music and also watch my movies. Oh, uh. who is your idol when you're little? My idol, I, I grew up with the Beatles. Got my music, listening to the Beatles. That's why I go. What are your all-time favorite on the menu? In the menu, ah, uh, yeah. I usually have my spaghetti. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then, why I became a singer? Because I followed my mother's footsteps. Why name Alicat? Because where we stay in Penang, it's like now it's heritage. So like those old houses, usually they got lanes at the back, alley, and a lot of cats. So he, that's why his name is Ellie Cats. When did you realize you are famous? Never realized, never, never knew. Most of the time we were in Hong Kong. So once in a while, my father used to call and say, "Hey, your song very popular over the radio." I said, "Ha ha ha ha." So have you ever Google yourself? Google lah. No, I old time, old timer. Favorite apps? No apps, no email, nothing. How many countries have you been performed? Uh, too many, I cannot remember. Which show impressed you the most? If it's not impressive, then I better not perform. So every show, every song has to be impressive and personal. How many songs have you created? Thirty albums. Uh, so like those days was. 12 songs for an album. So nowadays it's 10 songs per album. So I don't know how many. The hardest part of writing a song is like when we listen to many other groups, suddenly you find that you copy. That is the hardest part. So you have to erase, then think. Why do you think people love your music? Uh, maybe the lyrics. Because most of the songs that we do is mostly all love, sentimental, or frustration, you know? So that one is like a message. Any hidden talent besides singing? Besides singing, I mean, I started off playing the drums. As in Hong Kong, I picked up trumpet all by ears. Huh? Eventually, I was able to play the keyboard, the guitar. Because those days when we work, one band, no break. So if the drummer has to go to the washroom, so I'll take over the drums. Then the bassist has to go to the washroom, play the bass. That's how we learn. If you are not a singer, what do you think you will do? I don't know what I will do. Because I never done another job in my life. Even when I was in school, I was already singing for the American GIs from Vietnam. How does being an artist different from other career? I mean, for me, being an artist, I'm just another human being. I can take the LRT or bus to go anywhere I want because I put myself there. Being an artist is uh, not you. 
It's what the public made you. Do you think the youngsters today are different compared to your time? Younger generation now. It's totally different from our days because our days we climb on trees, you know, we play all kinds of funny, funny games. Any words for young people who wants to enter the entertainment industry? I mean, okay, they can if they know where they stand. Think of entertainment as a business and you will achieve. Don't think of it as for fun. No. Currently, are there any challenges you would like to take on? I mean, the only challenge is you yourself. Do you mind we change the seat? Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Which Malaysian artist have you been recently worked with? Recently, I'm uh, not Who is the next you would like to work with? Anybody who has the talent where I can benefit, I don't mind working. Yeah. What do you do on your holidays? Try to go back to Penang and eat. <laughs> okay. Penang is your hometown, right? Yes, my hometown. Can you please rate? Those days you are so free, you know. You can take a bicycle and cycle around the island. But nowadays it's so busy, so crowded, so much tourists because it's like heritage. You know, so when I go back, I say, I don't, you know. Tell us the three favorite Penang food you like the most. Probably the Hokkien Mi, Penang. Penang, here they call it prawn Mi, Ha Mi, uh, Roti Canai, Penang, and the Nasi Gendak. To you, what is the must try Indian food? Must try is uh, for me, like now I found a new place in Penang, banana leaf. Very nice, yeah. Uh, can you describe your hometown with a one word? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> okay, hometown landmark. Hometown landmark, uh, my school, Wellesley Primary School, near my house. If you have a teleport, uh, where would you want to go? Where would I want to go? Uh? Nowhere but my Penang. I love Penang. <laughs> okay, what is the best thing about Malaysia? Malaysia, why I like Malaysia is because the people, I mean the people very friendly, very loving, very understanding. I mean the people in this country, you know. Name a dish who represent Malaysia. Yeah, represent Malaysia, laksa. So many different kinds of laksa. You, know, you got Assam laksa, you got Sarawak laksa, you got so many different kinds of laksa. So, Can you sing us a song besides English? Basically, I, I sing Mandarin songs. Ni pu yao ku ku ti ti kuo yi shen Ni pu yao ha ha si si kuo yi shen Ke ai ren sheng Ke ai ti ren sheng Oh, ke ai ti ren sheng Very old song Do you think you are humorous? Yeah, it's not for me to think For other people to think whether I'm humorous or not Yeah, I think you are Oh, thank you What is the most touching moment in your life? Uh, when my son came with my granddaughter and my grandson, that was the most touching. You know, they are in Europe. Uh, so, very seldom I get to see them. So, when he first brought them, it was so you know, beautiful, so touching. How do you chill yourself up? Just like that, sit down, relax, watch TV. Watch TV, can't uh, you? <laughs> yeah, I very seldom listen to radio and play with my handphone. Or I just, just, Lying in bed, watch TV. Things you do when you are happy. I talk a lot. <laughs> How would you describe Malaysia for a foreigner? I mean, uh, the only way to describe Malaysia to foreigner is invite them for makan. Choose your food. So with that, they go back with the taste. So they say, hey, only in Malaysia you can find this kind of food. Only in Malaysia. So the, the word Malaysia is in their head only. So how you celebrate National Day? Those days no TV, not only you li either listen to the radio or you go to the venue. Nowadays you just take your handphone, you can see hey, Merdeka, Merdeka, Merdeka and you just... <laughs> yeah. A message for our 60-year-old Malaysia. Long live Malaysia. This is 60 years. Huh? So another 60 years to come. 
Selamat merdeka. Wuih. Thank you so much. Sia-sia uh, ni. Welcome. Terima kasih. Wuih.